Chef Buck here, and today we're going to make a very simple oatmeal recipe. Another simple oatmeal recipe. We've been eating a lot of oatmeal this past year. We got tons of oatmeal recipes. We made apple crisp with oatmeal, the overnight oatmeal. I made cookies with oatmeal. What else? We're old people. We use oatmeal. Oh, with the fudge and oatmeal. We've just been eating oatmeal every which way we can. This is just a regular day around the house having oatmeal. Get it? A regular day. But um, bum. So this is a very simple recipe. All we got to do is throw a bunch of stuff in a bowl, basically. And these are rolled oats. Old-fashioned rolled oats. Get a shot of that oatmeal-y deliciousness. That's a lot. This recipe makes quite a little bit. And you can make a half a recipe of this. Super duper easy peasy. But I'm going to make enough to fill up this whole pan. Because they'll keep for a while in the fridge. It's mostly banana and oatmeal. So it's pretty healthy. We want to use about two cups of bananas, which is about four bananas of this size. Let's see, and that's a cup. So if we put it in there, <laughs> you can see two bananas of that size is about a cup. What? Well, just to show you, you know, of about this size. So if I had a if I had a unibrow, it'd be about the size of a unibrow of a head of this particular shape. The very first thing I'm going to do is mash up my bananas. You and your whip. And this thing is whisk-tastic. So before I put anything else in here, I get the bananas mashed up. So you want your bananas to be nice and goopy like that. Ah. Oh, That's it. No, no, no. That's the money shot. That's the anti-money shot. Now this is almond butter, which is similar to peanut butter, except it is less flavorful. It doesn't have as strong a flavor as peanut butter, and it's more expensive. If you don't want peanut butter flavor, then use almond butter. And if you're a richy rich, use almond butter. Woo, fancy! Camera Girl, when she first made this, she just used craisins, but I'm going to use a combination of craisins and raisins. But you can use whatever kind of dried fruit you like. And really experiment. Like here, I'm going to experiment on this one. I've never used fresh ginger uh, for these little oatmeal bites. But I'm going to use some fresh ginger today. Here's some from a batch I made the other day. See, these have just craisins in them. And then some of these have just raisins because I made two half batches. But I like the ones with the craisins better. But, you know, it's up to you. Use whatever you like. You can use dried pineapple. That sounds pretty good. Now I'm going to throw some cinnamon in there. Quite a little bit of cinnamon. I like cinnamon in this sort of a treat. And I'll go ahead and mix this up before I get my oats in here. Get everything mashed up and incorporated. And this is kind of wettish, but it's not overly wet. So once I put my oatmeal in here, it's really going to be a very dry mixture. But here, I'm going to throw my oatmeal in here now. So I'll turn all these ingredients over and get them well incorporated. And this mixture is super duper dry. Now, if you want it to moisten it up, you could throw in like a can of crushed pineapple. Last time I made this recipe, I made this much and I put in this entire can, which is an eight ounce can. Uh, it worked. It still held its shape and it baked up already. And it was moist, but it tasted more like a little muffin bites. You know, like a muffin, you know, with a muffin top and a muffin bottom. You know, they had a little uh, muffininess about them with the added moisture, which worked. In fact, this is them. It works. But I like them a little bit drier. And denser. And denser. So I'm, I'm going to skip the pineapple. But if you wanted to, you could put pineapple in there. And I bet it would work with pumpkin, too. If you put a few tablespoons of canned pumpkin, that would wetten your mixture up. Or just a little bit of oil. If I wanted to, I could throw a tablespoon or two of oil in here. But I don't think it needs it. You know, even though this is a pretty dry uh, mixture right now, I think it's wet enough. But we're going to bake it for about 20 or 25 minutes. So it's going to dry out in the oven for sure. All right. So this is going to stick together very easily. Now these bites aren't very messy and they don't really stick to the pan. Uh, too bad. So I'm not going to put any parchment paper down. I'm just going to give this a light spray. And I'll just form them into some little ball shapes. Boop. And like I said, they're going to hold together very well. They're not going to spread out. They're going to stay in these nice little circular shapes. And it's very easy to make a half recipe. 
so you don't have to make nearly as many as I'm making right now. So camera girl, you can go ahead and turn that camera off and go take a nice bubble bath because it's going to take me a while to, to shape all these. I might be doing this for five minutes because I'm going to fill up this whole pan. So camera girl is back and I'm down to my last little itsy bitty bit here. Now the whole time I'm making these, I have to fight with myself because you know when you're making a batch this big as you go along, you want to make them bigger and bigger because you just get tired of doing it. You know, so you have to wrestle with yourself to keep from making them too large. You see, look at my very first row. I don't know if you're going to be able to tell, but they're noticeably larger by the time you get to the end. So you got to be careful. You know, you don't want it to look like the stages of, of uh, human evolution when you get to the end, like the stages of you boredom. Oh. I don't know what I'm talking about. So we got 30 little oatmeal treats here, and these are good sizes. And this is mostly oatmeal and banana, so it's pretty healthy. I didn't add any oil in here, which you could, like I said, if you wanted to make them more moist, but I like them a little bit dry. So now I'm gonna... <laughs> All right, we need to oil these doors. <laughs> all righty. Open it up and then say all righty. All righty. So now I'm going to slide it in the oven. I've got it pre hundred. Uh, hello. Fudge. Beep, 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 beep. So it has been. I'm going to burn myself. 20 minutes. <laughs> and they smell perfecto. Got the bottom there. They're kind of brown on the bottom, but not too bad. So this didn't take long, just 20 minutes at 350. Now these here I baked for a half hour the other day. But like I said, I put uh, pineapple in here. So these were more moist. It's probably gonna be too hot to eat, but I'll go ahead and bust one open. Oop. But like I said, you can make, a, you can add some wet ingredients to them. Pineapple, uh, pumpkin, a little extra oil if you like, but I think they're moist enough, and it's just a lot of really healthy, natural ingredients. Oatmeal. It's one of the best habits we've had this year. And these are fine sitting out, you know, in a little container for a couple of days on your counter. But if you're going to keep them for longer than that, then I'd put them in the fridge. I'll have the recipe written down below if you want to check it out. If you want to print the recipe or take a look at all our other recipes, head on over to chefbuck.com or myfoodchannel.com. You can get there either which way because of Camera Girl's internet whiz-bottery. And we'll see you next weekend. Hope everybody's doing great. Bye-bye.